sounded like a crazy idea. Um, but then looking at the kind of information and the underlying hypothesis, and then looking at safety data, uh, led me to believe that this might actually work, and not only work, but might actually be a game-changing thing in the field of not only gastroenterology, but also of type 2 diabetes management, and a unique opportunity for great science and great studies. The Revita DMR system is an endoscopic ablation procedure that is designed to ablate the hyperplastic duodenal mucosa and test the hypothesis whether ablation and regeneration of the duodenum may prove to be a safe and effective therapeutic option for patients with type 2 diabetes. The gut is the body's largest endocrine organ, and the lining of the gut, which is called the mucosa, contains a number of different cell types, including stem cells, which adapt over time to the nutrients they receive and influence the behavior of the mucosa itself. Chronic exposure to diets that are high in fats and sugars cause changes to the structure and function of the duodenal mucosa, which we observe as hyperplasia of the duodenal mucosa. We now believe that hyperplasia affects the rate of nutrient absorption and the type of nutrient-induced signals from the liver, the brain, and the rest of the body. So if long-term exposure to high-fat and high-sugar diets causes abnormalities in the duodenal mucosa, can ablation of that same mucosa lead to a regeneration of a new mucosa that reprograms intestinal stem cell behavior and resets these abnormal signals? The Revita DMR system is a novel balloon catheter and control console that is designed to perform an outpatient endoscopic procedural therapy to target the dysfunctional duodenal mucosa with a submucosal uh, saline injection and hydrothermal ablation. Revita 2 is the first prospective randomized multicenter double blind sham control study of Revita DMR in patients with type 2 diabetes who are inadequately controlled on multiple anti diabetic agents but not yet on insulin therapy. The two primary endpoints were absolute change in glycated hemoglobin in all patients and liver MRI PDFF in those patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease at baseline. And the Revita hit both of its primary endpoints in the European population. Secondary endpoints of body weight and OMA IR, which is a measure of insulin resistance, also improved. Post-hoc results were stratified by patients' baseline fasting plasma glucose. Glycemic improvements were found to be even more remarkable in those patients with a high fasting plasma glucose at baseline. This was also true for the improvement in liver fat reduction in those patients with baseline high fasting plasma glucose. Revita DMR was well tolerated by patients with a safety profile which was similar to a routine upper endoscopic procedure. This study provides the first controlled clinical evidence demonstrating that ablating the duodenal mucosa may safely lower glucose and improve metabolic parameters, including liver fat content, insulin sensitivity, and weight in patients with inadequately controlled type 2 diabetes. So this Revita 2 study helps to establish the gut as a key player in metabolic control and the duodenum as a new target for metabolic disease. And what is striking about this observation is that the pathology of the intestinal mucosa may be an important root cause of the disease. And furthermore, interventions then targeting the gut may allow physicians to address this pathology to whole progression of the disease, actually for the first time, and as a result, disease-modifying therapeutic options may soon be available for patients with type 2 diabetes and metabolic diseases.